I've taken myself from being broke, living a life of quiet desperation, to living a life that most people only ever dream of. And I think one of the most important factors of that journey is every step of the way I had a goal. In the early days on that journey, my goal was very simple. It was what I call a need goal. We need to achieve something that takes the pressure off. Enable me to give the kids a few nice things and give me breathing space. And I think every single one of us has a need goal. When we start out on our journey, we, need, we have a need goal. In other words, I, I always say, when our home is straight, when we have everything we need in our home, where we can breathe, then we have a vision for a bigger, better future. And I remember specifically the time on my journey when I reached that moment where I thought I can breathe. For the first time in, in many years, I can just breathe and now I can think about where I want to go. And at that moment, I realized there were things I wanted. And that's the next part of goal setting. Once the need is met, we look for the want. What do you want to achieve? And for me, I had some big want goals. I wanted to give my children private education, but I could never afford it. I wanted to live in a beautiful home, and I knew exactly what kind of house that was. I wanted to drive a nice car, a safe car, I wanted to travel the world and I wanted complete financial freedom. Those want goals had to take a form that became visual. So rather than just thinking about it in my head, I realised the impact, the importance, the power of taking the want, turning it into a visual image, creating a dream board, something that I could look at every single day that would stimulate me, that would keep me on track, make sure that I was consistent in the activity that needed to be applied every day to achieve those goals. But a large part of that journey and who I am today has been my ability to become an effective goal setter.